That's it? That's it, huh? It's, uh, the, uh, uh, uh. Holy crap, we just, uh, yeah, we just lost camera two. Uh, welcome to our show, where apparently nothing works right. Let's see, normally we would have a guest, but this being our first show, we kind of had a hard time booking a guest. So, um, we're going to talk about commercials. There's something about older commercials, especially around the holidays, that were just so, like, comforting. Now, I look at commercials today, and they're just kind of like, eh, you know? There's nothing that great about them. They're just kind of sterile, kind of gross. They always have that stupid ukulele Attention playing in the background or something, or this, like, I am Ambassador Fathom me. from the planet Crankor. At this moment, I am rapidly approaching your planet. I will arrive tomorrow night at precisely 8 o'clock. Have a pleasant night's sleep. Ha, 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 But anyway, there's something about the feel of old commercials, Halloween commercials especially, and you'll see what I mean. Like, take a look at some of these older commercials with me. Arranged in beautiful I mean, isn't this cool? Antique Maybe it just brings no me back to my childhood. I don't know. But, dusty shops. You'll find hey, Vincent Price. Prices that won't the stand. Antique Guild. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Hey, now this looks cool. Now, I, this may have been from the 70s. This looks a bit older. Um, oh, that's so cool. Things are just better, you know? I, I mean, I like the graininess of this commercial. Look at how the lighting is set up. It's just neat. I mean... Oh, okay, it's based on the movie Alien. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, this is classic. It's crazy to believe that this is pretty old at this point, and almost every Halloween they still are making Halloweens, I think. There's a new Halloween that's just coming out this year, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think it's the finale, where they finally, 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 finally kill Michael Myers. Oh, okay, The Exorcist. Um, this is one of my, probably one of my favorite movies, and I think actually, um, one of the scariest movies I've ever seen, and I think this stands the uh, test of time. I think even to this day, this is one of the most horrifying movies. Uh, this movie was so scary that, uh, it actually, um, sent people to the hospital. I think there were people, um... There were actually ambulances outside of the theater, and people were getting rushed to the ambulance. It was, uh, this was, you know, completely um, groundbreaking for the time. You have to understand, we were going, st we were going from stuff like, you know, the Mummy and Frankenstein and Dracula to like this, and this is, wow, this was pretty intense. All right. It was a simpler time. But, oh. This is a... Alright. This is a uh, monster uh, force-feeding kids cookies. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit of an odd commercial, huh? Um, yes, yeah, it reminds me of back in the days of my youth when I'd go to the park and there'd be a random monster forcing me to eat cookies. Uh... Of man's fantasies of evil. Oh, all right. Yeah, Jaws. Man, this was a this was a golden age. Uh, this was a great decade for horror movies. Um, this is probably again one of my favorite movies of all time. I have, actually have a little shrine to Jaws in my little uh, studio. Um, yeah, scared me as a kid. Love this movie. The acting is amazing. Give my friends something special. 
Look at this sawed-off version of Frankenstein. Nestle, one of the most evil companies he'll ever have to work for. I would know. Ugh. That their chocolate's good, I, I guess. I mean, it'll do. Yeah. Alright, this is a... Uh... <laughs> this is kind of cool. This is my brother uh, going to the liquor store at... Uh, through, uh, <laughs> At 1 a.m. <laughs> I actually know that actor, the uh, the guy at the. Uh, well, I don't know him personally, but I'm familiar with that actor. Oh, I remember this commercial. I remember this commercial as a kid growing up. This was neat. I rem that guy was like the spokesperson for Dunkin' Donuts. Remember when it was called Dunkin' Donuts? It wasn't just called Dunkin'. And there's Hervé Villachay. He's always uh, screaming about the plane. The plane boss. Uh, ooh. And we have another commercial with uh, Vincent Price. Oh, look at that. He certainly got around back in the day. He was all over the TV. Hey, that guy must... I think I know him. He might be a... He might be a relative of mine, I think. Oh, it's... Uh, yeah, I know. It's Joe Biden. He was doing commercials back in the day. He looks good. He looks really good. Yeah, he goes back in his coffin. Ooh, Freddy. You know what? I, uh... I gotta tell you, I think he's the worst out of all the monsters. Freddy's probably the creepiest one. And I can't believe they actually... I mean, he was like a child, you know, killer and all that stuff. And they, they really, like, sort of, you know, promoted him to kids and stuff. It was weird. It was really weird. Um, and there's a scrim from uh, the Phantasm movies. Uh, honestly, one of my favorite series is the Phantasm series, but uh, I think it kind of fell short with the last couple movies. They were, kind of, or I should say, the last movie was a really big disappointment. Uh, it's a shame. But uh, yeah, the originals were great. That is so cheesy. And <laughs> I have this guy coming in at the end after it's like a creepy commercial. Closed after dark. Bring your parents. I'm sorry, sir. You'll have to leave. All right. Well, that was a nice little trip down memory lane for me. I hope that was nice for you guys. Uh, we were hoping to get some more people on the show soon. And um, if you're interested in being a guest on the show, please hit me up. We have a Patreon. Um, it's always a big help as far as funds for the channel and um please like and subscribe and uh yeah all right well uh we'll, we'll see you guys yeah. yeah see you later Oh!